we're seeing a lot of black and white, a lot of art deco, almost like a color blocking, but with watches. And we're seeing a lot of rose gold mixed metals, which previously we'd only really seen for women. We're also seeing a lot of uh, skeleton watches where you can see all the moving parts. So is that, however many dials you can get, that's what we want to see. It's something that's functional, that's fun, that's kind of an expression of, of who you are, I think. And it's fun. Watch trends are like car trends. They're changing every 10 seconds, and there's a thousand versions of everything. So it's, uh, it's fun to watch. It's, it's never-ending entertainment, I think. I like to wear things that tend to be a little more comfortable, a little sportier. I don't wear a coat and tie to the office. I don't dress up. So typically, I don't look towards the real dressy watches. But uh, I do like to have an elegance to my timepiece. So something has to work for me personally, much more than trend. There are a lot more Chinese consumers, uh, not just in mainland China, but globally. So, so the, these products that a lot of times are made just for the Chinese market are now being made globally because of, of the amount of, um, of tourism coming out of mainland China in, into, in, into um, shopping areas such as Madison in New York or, or uh, Rodeo Drive in, in, in Beverly Hills. And, um, and because these brands are making products globally uh, to, to, to suit this clientele, um, they're expanding. On, they're expanding on it, and uh, and when, when these brands are making this, this product globally, other people are, are interested in, in buying it. This has a really nice thinness in the profile of the watch. That's the, that's one of the, uh, I think watches, uh, fine timepieces have certainly maintained their value uh, much more in the collectible world than, say, fine art or wine or collectible cars, uh, baseball cards. There's all sorts of collectible worlds out there that men are, are very in tune to. And, um, you know, fine brands like Patek Philippe and Rolex both have done very well at the, at the secondary market and at auctions uh, worldwide. Yeah. 